16. What is advocacy according to NHS Trust? It is taking action to help people say what they want, secure their rights, represent their interests, and obtain the services they need. This is the divulging or provision of access to data. It is the response to the suffering of others that motivates a desire to help. It is a set of rules or a promise that limits access or places restrictions on certain types of information. Q17. To whom should you delegate a task? Someone who you trust. Someone who is competent. Someone who you work with regularly. All of the above. Q18. All should be seen in a good documentation except Legible handwriting Name and signature, position, date and time Abbreviations, jargon, meaningless phrases, irrelevant speculation and offensive subjective statements A correct, consistent and factual data Q19. A client experiences an episode of pulmonary edema because the nurse forgot to administer the morning dose of furosemide, Lasix. Which legal element can the nurse be charged with? Assault. Slander. Negligence. Tort. Q20. Describe the primary focus of a manager in a knowledge work environment. Developing the most effective teams. Taking risks. Routine work. Understanding the history of the organization. Q21. Miss Smith is newly promoted to a patient care manager position. She updates her knowledge on the theories in management and leadership in order to become effective in her new role. She learns that some managers have low concern for services and high concern for staff. Which style of management refers to this? Organization man. Impoverished management, country club management, team management.
Q22. A registered nurse had a very busy day as her patient was sick, got intubated, had other life-saving procedures. She documented all the events by the end of the shift recognized that she had documented in other patients' record. What is best response of the nurse? She should continue documenting in the same file as the medical document cannot be corrected. She should tear the page from the file start documenting in the correct record. She should put a straight cut over her documentation right as wrong, sign it with her NMC code, date time. She should write as wrong documentation in a bracket continue. Q23. You are the nurse in charge of the unit and you are accompanied by fourth-year nursing students. Allow students to give meds. Assess competence of student. Get consent of patient. Have direct supervision. Q24. Which of the following is a specific benefit to an organization when delegation is carried out effectively? Delegates gain new skills facilitating upward mobility. The client feels more of their needs are met. Managers devote more time to tasks that cannot be delegated. The organization benefits by achieving its goals more efficiently. Q25. The measurement and documentation of vital signs is expected for clients in a long-term facility. Which staff type would it be a priority to delegate these tasks to? Practical nurse, registered nurse, nursing assistant, volunteer. Q26. Adequate record keeping for a medical device should provide evidence of a unique identifier for the device, where appropriate. A full history, including date of purchase and where appropriate when it was put into use, deployed or installed. Any specific legal requirements and whether these have been met. Proper installation and where it was deployed. Schedule and details of maintenance and repairs. The end of life date, if specified. All of the above. Q27. What is accountability? Ethical and moral obligations permeating the nursing profession. To be answerable to oneself and others for one's own actions. A systematic approach to maintaining and improving the quality of patient care within a health system, NHS. The process of applying knowledge and expertise to a clinical situation to develop a solution. Q28. 
In the role of patient advocate, the nurse would do which of the following? Emphasize the need for cost containment measures when making healthcare decisions. Override a patient's decision when the patient refuses the recommended treatment. Support a patient's decision, even if it is not the decision desired by the nurse. Foster patient dependence on healthcare providers for decision making. Q29. What is meant by an advocate? Someone who develops opportunities for the patient. Someone who has the same beliefs as the patient. Someone who does something on behalf of the patient. Someone who has the same values as the patient. Q30. When doing your drug round at midday, you have noticed one of your patients coughing more frequently whilst being assisted by a nursing student at mealtime. What is your initial action at this situation? Tell the student to feed the patient slowly to help stop coughing. Ask the student to completely stop feeding. Ask student to allow patients some sips of water to stop coughing. Ask student to stop feeding and assess patient swallowing. Q31. A patient with learning disability is accompanied by a voluntary independent mental capacity advocate. What is his role? Express patient's needs and wishes. Acts as a patient's representative in expressing their concerns as if they were his own. Just to accompany the patient. To take decisions on patients' behalf and provide their own judgments as this benefit the client. Is expert and representative's client's concerns, wishes and views as they cannot express by themselves. Q32. Which task should be assigned to the nursing assistant? Placing the client in seclusion. Emptying the Foley catheter for the preeclamptic client. Feeding the client with dementia. Ambulating the client with a fractured hip. Q33. A nurse manager is planning to implement a change in the method of the documentation system for the nursing unit. 
Many problems have occurred as a result of the present documentation system, and the nurse manager determines that a change is required. The initial step in the process of change for the nurse manager is which of the following. Plan strategies to implement the change. Identify the inefficiency that needs improvement or correction. Identify potential solutions and strategies for the change process. Q34. According to the Nursing Code of Ethics, the nurse's first allegiance is to the client and client's family. Client only. Healthcare organization. Physician. Q35. What are essential competences for today's nurse manager? Strategic planning and design. Self and group awareness. A vision and goals. Communication and teamwork. Q36. Which option best illustrates a positive outcome for managed care? Involvement in the political process. Reshaping current policy. Cost-benefit analysis. Increase in preventive services. Q37. A nurse demonstrates patient advocacy by becoming involved in which of the following activities? Taking a public stand on quality issues and educating the public on public interest issues. Teaching in a school of nursing to help decrease the nursing shortage. Engaging in nursing research to justify nursing care delivery. Supporting the status quo when changes are pending. Q38. In an emergency department doctor asked you to do the procedure of cannulation and left the ward. You haven't done it before. What would you do? Don't do it as you are not competent or trained for that white incident report inform the supervisor. What is the purpose of clinical audit? Do it. Ask your colleague to do it. Complain to the supervisor that doctor left you in middle of the procedure.
Q39. The nurse has just been promoted to unit manager. Which advice, offered by a senior unit manager, will help this nurse become inspirational and motivational in this new role? If you make a mistake with your staff, admit it, apologize, and correct the error if possible. Don't be too soft on the staff. If they make a mistake, be certain to reprimand them immediately. Give your best nurses extra attention and rewards for their help. Never get into a disagreement with a staff member. Q40. Ms. Bond is newly promoted to a patient care manager position. She updates her knowledge on the theories in management and leadership in order to become effective in her new role. She learns that some managers have low concern for services and high concern for staff. Which style of management refers to this? Country club management. Organization man. Impoverished management. Team management. Q41. What is the minimum length of time that a student must be supervised, directly, indirectly, by the mentor on placement? 40%. 60%. Not specified, but as much as possible. Depends on the student capabilities. Q42. The client is being involuntarily committed to the psychiatric unit after threatening to kill his spouse and children. The involuntary commitment is an example of what bioethical principle? Fidelity. Veracity. Autonomy. Beneficence. Q43. What are the key competences and features for effective collaboration? Effective communication skills, mutual respect, constructive feedback, and conflict management. High level of trust and honesty, giving and receiving feedback, and decision making. Mutual respect and open communication, critical feedback, cooperation and willingness to share ideas and decisions. Effective communication, cooperation, and decreased competition for scarce resources.
Q44. There have been several patient complaints that the staff members of the unit are disorganized and that no one seems to know what to do or when to do it. The staff members concur that they don't have a real sense of direction and guidance from their leader. Which type of leadership is this unit experiencing? Autocratic. Bureaucratic. Laissez-faire. Authoritarian. Q45. What do you mean by a bad leadership? Appreciate intuitiveness. Appreciate better work. Reward poor performance. Q46, Barbara, a frail lady who lives alone with her cat, was brought in AE via ambulance after a neighbor found her lying in front of her house. No doctor is available to see her immediately. Barbara told you she is worried about her cat who is alone in the house. How will you best reply to her? You should worry about yourself and not the cat. Your cat sounded like very dear to you. Can I ask your neighbor to check? Do you want me to see your cat also? I cannot do that now. Your cat can look after itself, I am sure. Q47, which strategy could the nurse use to avoid disparity in healthcare delivery? Recognize the cultural issue related to patient care. Request more health plan options. Care for more patients even if quality suffers. Campaign for fixed nurse-patient ratios. Q48, as a nurse, the people in your care must be able to trust you with their health and well-being. In order to justify that trust, you must not work with others to protect and promote the health and well-being of those in your care. Provide a high standard of practice and care when required. Always act lawfully whether those laws relate to your professional practice or personal life. Be personally accountable for actions and omissions in your practice. Q49. While at outside setup, what care will you give as a nurse if you are exposed to a situation? Provide care which is at expected level. Above what is expected. Ignoring the situation. 
Keeping up to professional standards. Q50. When do we need to document? As soon as possible after an event has happened to provide current up-to-date information about the care and condition of the patient or client. Every hour. When there are significant changes to the patient's condition. At the end of the shift.